this is my uh, present bedtime reading. I've been reading when I go to bed at least for 62 years. Um, the first book I, my mother let me stay up and late and read <clears throat> was um, By the Great Horn Spoon by Sid Fleischman. That was published in um, 1963, and I checked it out of the library. It was a hardback, so it's probably 1963, possibly 64, that I stayed up late and read it, finished reading it. And I've always read when I, well, there are exceptions, but... Uh, over the course of my life, but mostly I have read both fiction and nonfiction. So, a uh, couple of things that uh, I don't know if I find any of this interesting. I'm going to end up talking about comets. Uh, for 2,000 years, comets were believed to be in the atmosphere, not in outer space. But uh, Tycho Brahe was the first to argue persuasively that they were not in the atmosphere. That they were actually celestial bodies. Anyway, that's where we'll end up here. We're going to start. Uh, I have tried reading many Larry McMurtry books. The only one I have finished is Lonesome Dove. And I have read Lonesome Dove many times. I didn't keep an accounting. Can't put a number on it for sure. But this millennium, I have had at least 10 copies because they wear out, fall apart. My wife buys me a new one. And uh, <clears throat> it's a 40-year-old book. Uh, not this copy, but it was published 40 years ago. It was awarded the Pulitzer Prize. It was a New York Times bestseller. It's about a thousand pages. It's about the first cattle drive from Texas to Montana, the start of Ranch in Montana. It's based on a true story. There's several elements of true stories. Larry McMurtry wrote in one of his memoirs that he uh, kept... <coughs> Kept a copy of Teddy Blue Abbott's uh, memoir, We Pointed Them North, uh, beside him as he wrote chapter by chapter. And Teddy Blue Abbott uh, was writing about the first cattle drive from Texas to Montana. So uh, characters are fiction. Gus and Dietz and William F. Cole, Newt. But... Uh, uh, I don't usually read westerns, and I'm unable to read to completion any of Larry McMurtry's other works, except I've read his nonfiction. I don't know why. I am like that on some authors. Maybe you are too. Uh, Stephen King. The only Stephen King I've read to completion were these four novellas in different seasons. The rest of them don't hold my attention. Um, Asimov, in complete contrast, I can pick up any Asimov book, fiction or nonfiction, and read it to completion. So what I do is read some of these uh, Asimov collections of science essays, and then I start over. Just like with Lonesome Dove, I read it from front to back, and then I start over. Now... In uh, Lonesome Dove, July Johnson talks about looking up at the stars and thinking about the stars. And Joshua Dietz looks up at the moon, talks about what he thinks about the moon. Gus told him the moon pulls the tides, which Dietz doesn't believe. But Dietz does think it may be that you can, uh, you get a good ladder you might be able to, because the moon looks like it's touching the earth. Uh, sunset, or uh, moon, moonrise and moonset sometimes. And he wonders if the Indians have been on the moon. So, uh, 
So this particular essay, which I think he wrote this in like 1958, a uh, long time ago, um, uh, he thought the, uh, in the past, uh, comets were believed to be atmospheric phenomena exhalations of bad air and therefore part of our own corrupt and miserable earth but Tycho Brahe an astronomer um, believed otherwise that they are part of the heavens rather than of earth and didn't fit into the system until when Copernicus put the sun at the center of the solar system and Kepler made planetary orbits and two ellipses, the design of the planets began to fall neatly into place, except for comets. They still came from nowhere, vanished. Anyway, comets uh, orbit the sun and uh, our ice and rock dust. And that's what we think now. Uh, I enjoy reading. I enjoy reading before I go to sleep. Uh, this is literally what I was reading last night and what I'll be reading tonight. Uh, I'll read some more Lonesome Dove. Put that down. Read some Isaac Asimov. Put that down. Turn off my light. Go to sleep. That's been my routine this entire millennium. Now, I do sometimes will pick up other books, uh, read Lee Goldberg's, uh, some, some of Lee Goldberg's novels. Um, I might read some other nonfiction book. And uh, I read Arthur C. Clarke, of course. Uh, Clarke is another one. I can pick up any Clarke and read it and enjoy it, fiction and nonfiction. But... Uh, McMurtry, Stephen King, others. Nope, I just uh, one of their novels or one of their writing is all I can, all I've been able to finish reading. Now, I should really do a, and I will, I guess, do a complete uh, separate discussion on uh, on the waterfront.